Good evening, and thanks for coming. Tonight I'm talking about Body Talk. I'm uh, Dr. John Veltheim. I'm the founder of the Body Talk system. Body Talk has, uh, was first developed about 15 years ago. And during that time, it has continued to grow. In fact, right now, it's probably growing exponentially, not only in a uh, number of practitioners, but also in the theory and the, the techniques that we have. Essentially, if I'm asked to define body talk, I would say that body talk is consciousness-based healthcare, and that the fundamental tenet of body talk is that we believe that the body contains all the information and all the abilities to heal itself in the vast majority of cases. All we have to do is set up the right conditions for that to occur. And essentially in body talk, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to set up conditions so the body is balanced in a way that it can heal itself. Now, that sounds easy enough and we've all said that, you know, this is probably how it should be. But the reality is it can be quite difficult because the big problem in trying to heal the body is in most cases in healthcare, in all aspects of healthcare, we've been using the wrong principles for doing this because the general trend in healthcare has to, is to follow the normal and classical physics line of Cartesian model physics. As we know in Cartesian physics, we divide the world up in like a clock and all the different parts of a clock and we fix the different parts and think that if we know all the parts then we'll understand the world and of course we know better than that now. But this Cartesian model has continued to be implemented in healthcare where we've divided the body up into all its little sections to the point that we have a heart specialist and a kidney specialist and a lung specialist and uh, we see the body as just a lot of moving parts and if we fix the individual parts, the body's going to get better. Well, that has had its value. The concept of Cartesian medicine has saved many lives because by having a kidney specialist who really makes that his speciality, he's developed techniques and surgical techniques, etc., that saves lives. So therefore, there's a very good a plus side to the Cartesian model. But we also know there's a downside because we just have to look at the state of health out there. And we also know that um, the reality is that so many people, they may have individual parts healthy, but their well-being and their general health and their general feeling of comfort in life is very heavily compromised in this day and age. And this is because the whole person has not been taken into account. Now, this is recognized because we now talk about holistic medicine and we talk about seeing the big thing and realizing that all the body parts are interconnected and it's no good just treating the heart if the adrenals are insufficient or the kidneys aren't functioning right. And this is where this whole concept now is starting to change. There's a lot of uh, therapies out there that call themselves holistic and I challenge that. I don't know of any holistic therapy other than body talk because in most other therapies, they're still Cartesian modeling. You know, if you look at alternative therapies, acupuncturists, they're experts in the energy system of the body. Well, that's looking at one part of the body, the energy system. That's Cartesian model, right? And if you're a herbalist, you're looking at the chemical makeup of the body. That's Cartesian. So all these other systems, whether they're traditional medicine or alternative medicine, are, are basically Cartesian-based. Now. With Body Talk, we take a radical step out of that because we've aligned ourselves to other principles and I'm going to be discussing those. The key element of Body Talk is that given that we are in fact looking at the whole body and we're treating the body at all the different levels, that it means the scope of practice of Body Talk is very, very large. And in fact, in a general summary, if you start talking about what is Body Talk, it's like saying, what is medicine? Because this, in this day and age, we have body talk gynecologists and body talk neurologists and body talk physical therapists and body talk chiropractors. We have specialist body talkers. Uh, body talk is being used in virtually every aspect of life, including the treatment of animals and plants. So it's a very comprehensive system. And of course, if tonight I can't go into all those different uh, 
concepts except to say that they all have a common denominator. They have common principles that we work by, common concepts, philosophy and science that the Buddy Talk is based on. And I'll certainly be covering that over this, this period of lectures. The scope of Buddy Talk is based on a few things. One is that we say that if we can get the body functioning better, if we can get the communication systems within the body, the synchronization of the various parts of the body improved, we can get its relationship to its environment improved and so on, then the body will heal itself. And therefore, again, if the principle being is if the body is at peak health or peak vitality in communication, if that will manifest in a form of health and well-being. Now, obviously there's limitations in that, because that theory only works when there isn't a crisis. There's going to be a situation where if you have a car accident, for example, you know, if I'm in a car accident, I don't want a body talk coming along and hitting me on the head. I want a surgeon to sew my arm back on. And in the same way, in some cases, when your heart has uh, deteriorated from too many Big Macs and and beers and things like that over a long period of life and now you've got blocked arteries and you've had a heart attack, you need a, you need a heart surgeon. You need a, a bypass operation. You need all the best of medical care. So in those types of situations, you know, medicine is critical. It's a very, very important part of life. But what we're saying is that in the earlier stages, when the, the, the problems are first developing and when the heart is start, first starting to malfunction and the arteries are starting to get clogged up in that, we have found that if we improve the, the, the functioning of the body, the communication systems, the awareness of what's going on within the body by re-establishing all the right circuits, then we will get the body to turn that around. The body will start to repair itself. And part of that repair is that we're treating not only the physical body but the mental the, the mind, the belief systems, the attitudes. And of course, what does that mean? It means that if your body is functioning well, you're going to start saying, oh, those greasy hot dogs don't seem to be, don't feel right to me anymore. And I feel like I need a bit more exercise. And maybe I should cut down to just one six pack of beer a night instead of four six packs. And uh, your lifestyle will start to change. I was actually talking about Australians there. <laughs> Um, your lifestyle will start to change. And um, we have found this occurs, that when people have body talk over a short period of time, they, they start seeing the world differently, they start eating differently, they start behaving differently because we're treating the whole person. And so in, th on this, situa in this situation, body talk is seen as not only a system of helping to repair the body, but it's a preventative system. It's a preventative maintenance system. And in that way, it's a, it excels. Now, there are many other aspects of body talk, and I'll be discussing that now in the next sections of lectures.